You know, I never really fit in as much as the other kids. My brother, he was, a, he was five years older than me. He was like the most popular guy at school. He would come in and laugh at me every single day. He would come home, tell me how I had no life, tell me that I would never be anybody. And, you know, after years of this, it always pushed me to want to prove these guys wrong. You know, all these people who used to put me down and laugh at me, I've always had this fire inside of me just to prove these guys wrong. So I started going to the gym. I started, I started loving it, you know, I started seeing results pretty quickly. And the more results I saw, the more I was getting addicted to it. From that, I started looking into dieting and what dieting was because I remember very clearly, I went to the gym one day and when we finished, I went to like, I went to a store and bought loads of candy bars and things like that. And my friend who I went with bought eggs and fish. I was like, why do you eat that stuff? He went, hey, you gotta get your protein in after you train. I didn't even know what protein was when I was 18. I had no idea. So what was twice to three times a week became four, became five. I was going home every single day from school just watching motivational videos. I started prepping huge meals to bring into school with eggs, fish, chicken, rice, broccoli, spinach, asparagus, everything in a huge box. I was bringing that into school. And these guys who used to laugh at me for being like a nerd, who used to play games 10 hours a day, were now laughing at me because I said I wanted to be a bodybuilder. Everyone was laughing at me saying, why the hell are you eating this food? Why are you doing this? You'll never be a bodybuilder, you'll never be big. Because I was skinny, I was super skinny, you know? So I had people put me down about that. But that drove me even more. I was more motivated than that I had ever been in my entire life because I was being hated on so much. And these guys didn't realize the more that they would hate on me, the more they were making me want to be successful, the more they were making me want to train harder, the more they were making me want to eat cleaner and essentially be more successful than, than they would ever be. So I kept training hard, I kept eating well, and I, even when I was sick, I would still just push for it. Every single day I woke up, I was hungry to be successful. I was hungry to see results. When I was at FIBO, I got recognized by GAT. My dream company. Uh, every time I went to these expos and I saw these athletes at I thought, man, that's what I want to be. I saw Sadiq, I saw Rami. You know, to be a part of this team, this company, is a supreme honor. I mean, I can't believe it. But I worked for it. I mean, I worked so hard for it. And I'm still going to continue working hard for it because I want to be on that Olympia stage.
Thank you.